Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadger.com, out here to wrap up the 2021 Coast to Coast Tour. The last couple days were basically a big grind. Woke up that next morning after that range day and dinner with Brownells, which was awesome, and a bunch of other great people there. Other people like Mike, Mr. Guns and Gear, Johnny, 180 Second Ideas, a bunch of wonderful people out there. But we got up that next morning and kind of leisurely got going. Probably did a little bit of swimming with my boys and then loaded up and headed out. Went, got a little cup of coffee, and then ended up going, filling up second to last time. Maybe it was the third to last time. This thing doesn't get amazing gas mileage, but filled up with some diesel, got on the road and actually drove into Des Moines. We decided, easy, we decided to go ahead and go have one last lunch before saying goodbye. So we went to a pretty awesome restaurant there. And then afterwards, it was time to say goodbye. Cameraman, cameraman, basically a company called Almond Film. Great guys, Bull Tanner as well as Joel. They basically switched off kind of throughout the trip, did all the filming, editing, Wonderful guys, did a great job for me. But Joel, it was time for him to fly home. Tanner had already left, they kind of swapped out earlier. And then also my buddy Noah from Wiseman Company and his son Yuri who came out for part of the trip too. So we said goodbye and they got in their Uber, went off to the airport and my boys, my dad and I climbed back on the bus and started grinding out some more miles. The next stop was the Corn Palace. I want to say it was in Mitchell, South Dakota, I believe. And basically it started like over a hundred years ago, basically making this Corn Palace and continued through. There was a huge kind of like gymnasium and stuff in there and it was pretty fun, like pretty touristy, but pretty fun all the same. And then at that point, I was kind of burned out on driving. So it's like, mm, let's stay here of course middle of summer saturday night no hotels so once again camped on the bus and a parking lot getting up that next morning we started driving i-90 west it was going to take us all the way home but our first stop was the minuteman missile historic site i guess it was basically where they used to have all the Miniman missiles where you'd have two people in the super insulated underground bunker and they would be ready to launch those nukes if it came to that. Pretty interesting, kind of a pretty cool little walk through museum, bunch of displays, stuff like that. And then after that, we made a quick detour to check out some groundhogs where you could feed them. This is pretty fun for my boys. Then from there, we continued on and ended up going through the Badlands. Really incredible landscape. I had seen it actually driving home on my last coast to coast tour as far as saw the turnoff to it. Didn't want to stop because I was just grinding it out by myself from Florida all the way back home to Idaho. But we ended up going through it. Really cool, really beautiful. Even saw a couple rams that were basically down in this like dry gully just chilling out. but beautiful spot through there. 244,000 acres, we're in the Then back on the road, grind out some more miles. The 
The next stop being Wall Drug. Super famous, apparently, with about a million billboards along I-90, but we ended up stopping there and yeah, I mean, pretty touristy, but it was pretty fun, just kind of cruising around with my boys before getting back on the road and continuing on and finally crashing out that night over at my buddies over in Billings, Montana. Full day of driving. Getting up that next morning, we fueled the bus up one more time with a lot of gallons of diesel and then back on the road. Grinding it out, up and over some passes down through Butte, Montana, and then up and over, finally into Idaho, going through Lookout Pass, and then that final pass before getting home, 4th of July Pass, and coming down into Coeur d'Alene. Overall, it was a incredible journey. Really amazing just being able to go cross country and all of it. Like the trip itself cross country, being able to bring my boys with me, and being able to have these epic range days and sharing the experience with a bunch of cool people all the way across the country. All said and done, 8,336 miles on this bus that I drove and probably another two or three miles in reverse. It was a lot of driving, especially being the only driver. Next year, definitely gonna get a driver and there will be a next year. Big picture for next year, probably gonna go later in the year, probably like mid-October to maybe mid-November, somewhere in that time frame. And it's gonna be later in the day too. So we'll probably start with kind of a fan fire right before sunset, work into shooting under white light, and then move into shooting nods, which I think will be cool. Also, criteria for ranges will be smaller, need like 50 to 100 yards. But yeah, it'll be basically a night shoot and give people the opportunity to put hands on stuff they haven't previously put hands on. Obviously, we'll have a bunch of cool guns, but on top of that, different white lights and getting into different lasers as well as different night vision setups and give people opportunity to shoot, again, stuff that you don't usually get a chance to lay hands on and is usually a big purchase. So yeah, hopefully a chance to try stuff before you end up buying it or just come out and have fun with an amazing group of people, which always turns out for these. Definitely a special thanks to all of our sponsors. Q title sponsor, couldn't have done it without them. As well as Radiant Firearms, Occam Defense, High Point. A lot of people came together to make this happen to include Brownells, setting up that last range day, as well as some of their stuff out there, Burin 180s, whatnot, shooting surplus. A lot of people made this thing happen, grateful for all of them. Not to mention Magpul sending out swag for prizes, along with Fix It Sticks and Prometheus Design Works. Awesome companies coming together that, yeah, at the end of the day, basically sharing the vision and help make this thing happen. Really grateful to all of them. But that right there wraps up the 2021 Coast to Coast Tour. At this point, pretty much just gonna hang out, probably sleep for a couple days. A lot of time driving, but as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. And if you appreciate numbers, 179 hours logged on this engine while on this tour. It's a long time.